Another text for you, Dr. Williams. Hello, Walter. My name is Devin, and I'm a 25-year-old half-black and half-white male from Virginia. I was just wondering what your opinion is on the new political correctness movement and the sudden cry of cultural appropriation from self-proclaimed allies of minorities. Well, I, I think we should ignore political, uh, the so-called political, uh, politically correct uh, uh, strictures. When people say to me, well, Williams, uh, you can't say that. Oh, I say, well, damn if I can't, because the First Amendment of the United States Constitution guarantees, guarantees me the right. And so I think that what we ought to do is ignore these people that are demanding that we change our language to accommodate some particular uh, uh, values that they might have. Front page of the New York Times recently <clears throat> was this article about Halloween. <clears throat> Costume correctness on campus. Feel free to be you, but not me. And it's an uh, article about what is acceptable. And Pocahontas, Caitlyn Jenner, and Pancho Villa are no-nos. Also off limits are geisha girls and samurai warriors. But you can be a Crayola crayon, a cup of Starbucks, <laughs> or where's Waldo? <laughs> I think that's really... That's really going, going very far. I think, I think our grandparents would be shocked by the kind of things that we accept as, uh, that we just accept today. I think we should ignore them. Do you see political correctness at George Mason? Probably so, and, but I, I ignore it there as well. I, I don't see it in the, any of my classrooms, and I'm not politically correct at all. I say whatever I, I, I want to say. And, uh, and, and, and my colleagues uh, tolerate me. Uh, I've been there, th I, I think I started my 35th year there. Steve in Arlington <clears throat> Heights, Illinois, texts into you. Can you speak to the anti-Confederate hysteria currently sweeping the nation? Um, yes, I, I think that the, I think people don't really understand much of the history of our, of our country. And, and, and just very briefly, and, and this is in, on my website and my articles, um, and I, I talk about this, and that is in 1783, uh, 1783, there was a Treaty of Paris, and the Treaty of Paris ended the war between the colonies and Great Britain. And if you read the Treaty of Paris, it says that there are 13 sovereign nations, that is, each state was a, a nation, and these states came together as, uh, as principles uh, in, um, in, in 1787, and they created the federal government as their agent. And, and, and principles can always fire their agents. And so, um, and if you read, and if you read the, uh, the ratification documents of Rhode Island, New York, and Virginia, they specifically say in the documents that if the federal government becomes abusive of the powers that we have delegated to the federal government, we have the right to rescind those, uh, those, uh, uh, those powers. That is, we have the right to uh, uh, secede. And so, so most Americans do not uh, understand the, uh, you know, they, 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 they think that the war was solely uh, f uh, to, to end slavery. But the war was uh, for much more than that. And so, but however, the, the winners of any war write, the, uh, write its history. And so the, uh, the Confederacy uh, has just, uh, uh, you know, they've gotten a, really a bad name. And I think that, uh, um, I, I think that this anti-Confederacy uh, movement uh, is uh, just uh, maybe one more, one more step towards... Um, uh, you know, towards uh, abolishing many of our sin, uh, symbols. Now, one can argue, one can argue whether the Confederacy was right in in, uh, in seceding, and you don't have to be for slavery. You can be against slavery, but that's an independent argument. Did they have the right to secede? And all the evidence suggests yes, they did have the right to secede because the states were principles, and they came together and created the federal government. That is, most Americans today think that, they virtually think that the states are a creation of the federal government. And matter of fact, that's the way Congress acts, that the states are a creation of the federal government, but it's actually the opposite. 